But you know what? It's priceless. It's actually helping someone get better. And that person comes back to you and say, I've gotten better because of the information that you gave me. Thank you. That's priceless. It's almost a better feeling than you doing better yourself, knowing that you did something like that. And I think that's what God put us on this planet for ultimately is to give and to help as much as we can. And once you don't do that, that's when you start spinning your wheels, not making a difference at all. You know, I had a love, but it was the, you know, puppy love, you have to say, for bodybuilding. Um, my brother had that true love, and I had puppy love, and I had to really understand that bodybuilding mentality at all. Um, so I decided to jump in uh, to a show. It was at Glassboro State College. Uh, it was around 1985, 86. It was 1985, it was. Um, I mean, my, I decided to follow my brother and eat, you know, as close to what he was eating because uh, he was getting ready for the show and I decided I was going to jump in and do the teenage, you know, with him. I mean, exciting. He was excited about, you know, we had a really close relationship, uh, you know, going on and stuff like this. Um, but it didn't, it didn't mean fast forward to the show, you know, we get to the show and uh, I didn't have my birth certificate so they wouldn't let me, you know, enter, to the, enter into the teenage. Uh, competition he said I only could do novice um, so I contemplated my brother really didn't think it was a good idea but I was like man I eat all this chicken stuff and you know did all this cardio I'm gonna do it I don't care you know my dad you know gave me the money 20 bucks they would cost 20 bucks to enter the show so my bad dad gave me 20 bucks to enter the show so I was like you know wow like I'm gonna do it like that's a rarity you know um, so yeah I signed up for it um, it did the novice and I uh, ended up getting third place in the men's novice being 16 and my brother who was de totally dedicated in it Lee Haney was his hero Arnold of course and it was back when those guys still was you know doing their thing they were still huge in the into you know bodybuilding so um, you know uh, he got fifth place so uh, it really took a hit on him and you know religiously he used to pick me up before then after school we go work out together like i before branch i really had never worked out with anyone else except my brother religiously like that and so um like i said i was 16 and um i didn't understand totally i only had puppy love for the sport i didn't understand the bodybuilding mentality so um, it was about two to three weeks where my brother stopped picking me up from school um, I would stand there and wait for him. He would show up, and I had to walk home, and you know, and I, I'm walking around, you know, wondering what did I do to make him mad? Well, how did I piss him off? Like, you know what I mean? The closest we are, like, I, I, I don't understand what I did, you know. But now, or as I developed into bodybuilding and uh, made it my life, um, I understand. You know, it's selfish. This is a selfish sport, and you never want to admit someone's better than you. Even if someone beat you in a show, at least you go to different, you know, states, you know, or different towns or whatever. But you don't see that guy uh, as often. But we're brothers living in the same household, and I beat him, and I'm his younger brother. So, oh, my God, yeah. Thinking back now, um, yeah, I guess I would have reacted the same way, even though I, you know, didn't understand then. I understand now, but, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, be careful on... Uh, you know, your things you do and um, how you develop, you know, and how you move around in the world. Um, because just because you lose or because a friend or because a foe or anyone plays better than you in a show don't mean that's the end of your career, you know, or end of your life. You know, it's a learning curve you should take from it and uh, get in the gym and, you know, uh, besides the gym, you know, sit on your own and take out a piece of paper and develop your schedule and your plan to do better and be better um, and go forth, you know? Don't let it stop you in your tracks ever. Um, doesn't make any sense and unnecessary.
one of the points that I wanted to make with telling you guys this story, one of the biggest points is uh, that we, you know, move around and, you know, look at ourselves in the mirror and have high praise for ourselves. But you know what? It's priceless. It's actually helping someone get better. And that person comes back to you and say, I've gotten better because of the information that you gave me. Thank you. That's priceless. But holding everything in, walking around, trying to be selfish, keep it to yourself. You know, have something like that happen. Like I said, a friend, a foe, a partner, a, a family member beat you. Don't let it beat you down. Stand up, you know, walk around, encourage. Maybe find somebody else that's in that same situation and be like, hey, I relate. I can relate to what happened to you. You know what I mean? Let's get through it together or let me, you know, explain to you how I got through it instead of wilding in, you know what I mean? In the mud and uh, kicking around rocks, you know? Um, get out there, be proactive, learn for your situation and help somebody through that situation as well. And helping somebody else, man, like I said, is priceless. And having somebody come back and say, because of you, I've gotten better. I mean, it's, it's almost a better feeling than you doing better yourself, knowing that you did something like that.